my channel. So today's video, I thought I would come and check out Stamford for the day. It's about an hour out of Leicestershire, which is where I'm originally from. And it's quite a brisky day, it's to make it's a little bit chilly. But I've got a couple of appointments and I'm actually a bit early, so I'm having a bit of a walk around and I already love the place. It's such a cute kind of oldie worldy, I guess, town village. Um, it's quite narrow roads um, and parking's a little bit of an issue. But I've managed to get like a long stay car park. So if you did come here, I would recommend doing that. But um, I guess with a, an old kind of town like this, the cobbled roads are really, really teeny. But it's super pretty. There's a mixture of like kind of modern boutiques and also quite old heritage brands. One of the appointments I've got today is check out Fairfax and Favour. I've never been there before, but I've been checking out their website and there's a few things I wanted to try on and I realised their store, I think it's their main flagship stores in Stamford. So I just thought I'd drive, drive over, check it out. I really want to try out some of their work bags and knee-high boots. So I thought it'd just be easy just to pop in store. But um, now I'm here, there's actually quite a few places I want to see as well. And if I've got time to maybe do an afternoon tea, but um, have a bit of a walk around now, but I thought I'd take you along with me. So if you guys are new to the channel, I wanted to subscribe, just click the subscription button below. And if you enjoy the video, it'd be great if you could like it. It's a fairly new channel, so any support would be brilliant. But I'm gonna head off and just have a bit of a walk and see what there else to offer in Stamford. So just heading up to Fairfax and Faber now. Um, if you do come here, I would recommend booking a private appointment, which is free to do so. And actually I said to the staff there various things I wanted to look at. So when I got there, they were all ready for me, which was really convenient because I was quite short on time. So one of the things I wanted to check out was this Francis trench coat in tan suede, which is £625. It didn't quite suit my height, but it was such gorgeous quality, but actually really heavy as well. So it didn't quite suit me, but there's a few other things I wanted to check out. I do think I prefer this style, but then this has got a better drop. I really like this Windsor Mini, which is in a tan and navy suede. I think it's about £265, but it's a bit too small for what I want for a work bag. And this backpack is really nice as well. Again, the tan and suede, which I particularly like. And I don't really need a belt, but I really like the look of these suede ones, which are around about £65. But ultimately, I'm here really trying to find a work bag. So I'm kind of looking at other options, but we'll see what we can find. And again, these trainers are really nice, which are about 155 pounds. I think they're called the Richmond trainers. So just having a bit of a walk around Stamford, some really, really lovely places, and just went into Fairfax and Favour and checked out a few things. Some really lovely items actually, so I'll have a think. I'm just going to have a few more, a bit of a walk around, see what else I can find. As you walk down the high street of Stamford, you can see a variety of different old buildings and you've got the more modern shops as well as this really, really cute bookshop called Walker's Bookshop. And to give you an idea, Stamford is basically a town that's got about 17 and 18th century stone buildings and also old timber frame buildings like this one. So gorgeous, gorgeous character. So definitely recommend coming to just walk around and just checking out all the different shops.
as you walk around the cobbled streets of Stamford, you should be able to check out around about five medieval churches. So you can see just how much it is in Stamford. So they've got a variety of around about £520,000, £175,000. And then you've got some that are £375,000. It gives you a bit of an idea if you wanted to buy in Stamford. I really like the look of this central cafe. It's like a cute little tea room in the centre of Stamford. I'm actually going to Burley House for afternoon tea today. I'll link in the description bar below and the card in the corner my afternoon tea there. But if I come back again, I really wouldn't mind checking out this tea room. It's really nice being able to walk around the streets of Stamford and I came across this food market as well which is really nice but actually it's getting a little bit cold so I thought I'd pop into Costa and get a hot chocolate. It's my favourite place to get a hot chocolate with all the works, marshmallows, whipped cream, everything and this will warm me up. I really like all these little paths that lead out from the centre of Stamford as you walk down them. They're really quite narrow and they've got quite often quite boutique stores, antique stores. It's definitely worthwhile checking out and they can go on for ages. One of the stores I found was this really quirky place that had this crazy cat lady flask. And they'd also got quite a few other different things like mugs and all sorts of kind of coasters. I've already got a crazy cat lady um, glasses holder. So I was really tempted to get something else as well, but really quite fun. You can see these kind of really quite sweet coasters and notebooks. I was so tempted to get this to-do list, the crazy cat lady one. It looks super quirky. Right, I've finished all my appointments for the day, so now I'm going to head to Burley House, where I've got an afternoon tea booked. If the video is ready, I'll link it in the card in the corner and the description bar below. I hope you guys like checking out a bit of Stamford with me. Let me know if you guys have actually been to Stamford, just because it's my first time here and I really loved it, and I'll definitely try and come back again. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.